Double Self-Portrait by Howard Taylor Howard Taylor was born in Victoria and moved to Western Australia with his family in 1932. Although widely known within his home state, Taylor's work virtually remained unknown outside of Western Australia, leaving his work and impact insulated. This insulation, however, fueled his art practice into becoming a unique and individual style as he did not actively seek other artistic influences. Double self-portrait is one of only two self-portraits completed by Taylor. The work is full of intentional reflections in the border and body, which shows a purposeful response to the act of reflecting when creating a self-portrait. The reflections create patterns and shapes, revealing Taylor's cubist influence, and the dreamlike aura emulates surrealist influence as it feels as though the portrait is not set in reality. Taylor's work is always grounded in his West Australian roots, and this work is no different. The folds of the shirt create lines that are similar to the inside of a tree trunk, especially on the left side. His hair is portrayed in a similar vein, where Taylor has focused on the line, direction and movement of the hair. The colour palette and background is minimal, forcing the viewer to focus on the figure. wing-like shape created by the arms became a recurring theme in some of his later works. The framing of his eye could suggest many things. In a literal sense, he is creating a viewfinder, as many artists do, searching for his next composition. But you could also interpret this as the artist analysing the world, or perhaps us, the viewer. Music 